Bob, do you know where... Um, and she showed him the way. She said, that's four ways. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I didn't care if you gave me the wax and put it on the car. That's what I did. <laughs> I think I got 25 cents. <laughs> you do anything. Right? Yeah. But my brother and I went with uh, Dr. Lau in weekend meetings, and sometimes we got paid, and sometimes we didn't. But uh, we furnished the music for his program. We were with Merle Fuller. He was an evangelist. He had meetings here in Binghamton, and we were with him for a couple of weeks, and uh, we got a little further. Thank you, thank you. Went to Liberty, New York, and we were there for three weeks, and uh, we got a little pay for that, but not much, you know. Yeah. So, it didn't kill us. Hey, do you want this Bible and stuff? Ever. You know, everybody was in the same boat in those days. No one had money. Lauren said that she was surprised to find out that yeah. I came to and from Bible school on my phone. Yeah. I think, you know, that was a different you, different you, era then, huh? You couldn't live like that anymore. Oh. Got too many freaks in the world, you know. Most places it's illegal to do that now. Yeah, so <clears throat> I'll tell you something that I did, TJ. I dressed like I was going to preach. Mm -hmm. And I had a briefcase. Get it right like that. Huh. Most people hitchhiking looks like tramps. Yeah. Nobody wants to pick them up. People pick you up because they figure you're down on your luck or something, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know one time a fellow picked me up. This is something I used to do. Uh, start in the morning, you know. I said to the guy, "Yeah, your breakfast yet?" I was down around six, you know. Mm -hmm. No. I said, "Well, it's a diner." down the road a little ways, we'll stop and have breakfast. He looked at me like he couldn't believe it. Huh. I bought his breakfast. Yeah. He bought me my lunch, took me all the way to Cleveland, dropped me off at the bus station, he bought me my supper, huh. and Grace came and picked me up at the bus station. Wow. Huh. Free ride. <laughs> I bought him his breakfast and I got two meals out of it and a ride. <laughs> it worked. Yeah. You know. I wasn't a tramp, you yeah. know. So, I mean... You could trust people back then, though, too. Yeah. yeah. A Catholic priest picked me up one time. Yeah. And uh, he asked me, you know, where are you from, where are you going, and that stuff, you know. And uh, I told him. And I mentioned being born again, and he wanted to know about that. How would you know when you were born again? Mm -hmm. I said, the Spirit of God. He didn't know about that. And I said, well, Jesus said to Nicodemus, the wind blows where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof. And thou canst not tell whence it cometh or whether it goes. So is everyone's word of the Spirit. He said, I never heard of that before. <laughs> He's a priest. <laughs> they don't know. Yeah. I mean, so far as Bible knowledge is concerned, you know. Yeah. So. It's just a reference tool or something, you know, when they need it. It's a shame, the blind leading the blind, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. This is thing is odd. You okay? I'll be okay. Well, a little I while longer. Put the bell for going. <laughs> <laughs>